It's Friday video time. It's Friday video time. It's Friday video time. It's Friday video time. Today I want to talk about the necessary backbones to success. And I decided to call this one wax off, wax off. Now, if you're not familiar with the Karate Kid movies, you're like, what the hell is that girl talking about? And if you have seen them, you're like, hells yeah. So I'm going to explain a little bit before beginning what wax off and wax off means to me and to the Karate Kid movies. It's all the dirty work. It's all the strength training. It's all the boot camp that needs to happen behind the scenes in order for you to see greatness. So now that I laid that out of the table, I need to explain that this one's really hard for me because I'm truly the most impatient person I know. I'm as hyperactive as it gets. I'm not, I'm not wearing a mask right now. Like I'm like this most of the time. Um, very impulsive too. So this topic is particularly difficult for me. And I know if I can tackle it or learn to deal with it, you can too. So that's why I decided to talk about this one today. So what are the backbones to success? What are the behind the scenes action that need to take place in order for you to shine? Now, again, before I begin, I need to explain why this is so important for me. Because we live in an era where we are very stuck with the lure of perfectionism. We see a lot of people being so successful and we admire them and we're like, oh my God, that person has so much going for them. Like they have so many sales and they have a blog that everyone loves and visits. They have so many Twitter followers. Everyone wants to feature them in a magazine. Like it's, it's almost paralyzing the thought that someone could have so much and then look at you and see that you have so much to go and you see yourself working hard and you're like, I want that too. Like what, what can I do to get there? Now, unless you're Paris Hilton or Harry Potter, that person worked their butt off to get there. So let's just lay that out of the table because it's very important for us to remind ourselves that they didn't become famous overnight, that they didn't become popular overnight. All these things happened with so much hard work, with so many hours of, of, of struggles and battles. So that's important for you um, to remember so you don't get impatient like me, impulsive and hyperactive. You are going to be there eventually. So what are some of the wax off, wax off actions that you might be noticing and you might be thinking, it's a waste of time, I did that and nothing happened. Well, I'm going to mention them to you and maybe they'll ring a bell. It's the 10 guest posts that you wrote that maybe you didn't get the response that you were looking for or the amount of comments that you were hoping. Maybe it's the magazine feature that you fought so hard to get and then when it happened, it's like, nothing happened. Maybe it's the craft, uh, a craft show that you've been working really, really hard at. And then when the craft show event arrived, no one showed up in your booth and you're like, it wasn't worth my time. Maybe it's the $100 or not $100, like the $500 that you invested on a piece of photographic equipment to take more beautiful pictures. And then you reshoot your whole collection and still your Etsy numbers are not going up. By the way, itsy parentheses, it's a please, if you're paying attention, get rid of that itsy number. It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense and it makes us self-conscious and insecure, so get rid of it. Okay, back to today's topic. Maybe it's the work of art that took you a month to do and you're like, you put it on sale and no one wants to pay the amount of money that the work of art is worth. Maybe it's waking up in the morning every day at 5 a.m. so you can squeeze in time to cook breakfast, time to exercise a little bit so you feel that you have energy and then be able to work and have energy during your day. And you're like, is it worth waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning every day? I'm not seeing any results. Well, the list can go on forever, but you get the picture, right? I'm talking about all the things that you think Think, go on notice. You're thinking that no one's paying attention. You're thinking that no one cares. You're thinking that, ugh, why wax off, wax off? And, and you're just tired and burned out and overwhelmed. Well, I have news for you. People are paying attention. Somewhere, somehow, in a place far, far away, or your neighbor 
is looking at the stuff that you're creating. Maybe they're not telling you that they are, but someone in this day and age, they're seeing what you're producing. Hang in there. This is the toughest, toughest part. I'm reading a book by Seth Gordon. I mean, my goddess. My, not my goddess, my, the god of all time. It's called The Dip. And it perfectly explains. I'm just going to say it like in a snap second. It perfectly explains that at the beginning, we all start with this momentum, with this energy to fight it all. And then we all reach these dip where we are so frustrated. Well, if you surpass that dip, if you survive this period, it's, it's undeniable that you're going to be up here. So hang in there. It takes time to build a brand. It takes time to find your voice. It takes time for people to recognize how great you are. It takes, it takes time. So just remind yourself that everything you do, all the work that you put out there, everything that you say matters. So the overarching conclusion that I want you to grasp before saying goodbye is not to let loose. This is the hardest time. And if you survive it, you're going to be in the in, you're going to be part of this tiny minority of people that are so passionate and love so much what they do that they got up here. And that's where I want you to be. So hang in there. I'm holding your hand and I'm cheering you all the way. Wax off wax on until the end, you will be successful. Fame is coming for you. Success is coming for you. You have to be ready when it hits you. This was all for today. Mayi Carles saying goodbye from Heartmade Blog. Bye-bye.